Hi, in this video, I'm going to be doing a writer versus wordplay review and comparison video. So you can pick which one is better for you if you're kind of stuck on the fence and not sure which one to get. All right, so let's get started. I have both of these. I paid for both of these, and I'll, I'm going to. I've used both of them extensively, so I'm going to tell you the ins and outs and the pros and cons, so you know what to, you know what to expect, and you can manage your expectations. With writer. I find it to be a very robust AI writing tool. And what I mean by that is it can do many different things. It can go from blog idea and outline, blog section writing, brand name, business idea pitch, business ideas, call to action, copywriting framework, either I, AIDA or PASS. You can do email, you can do Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn ads, Google search ads, interview questions, job description, landing pages, and website copies. You can even input your own custom uh, template for the AI to go ahead and create. And I'll show you, I'll talk a little bit more about this later. You can do uh, post and caption ideas, product description, product description bullet points, profile, um, question and answers. We reply to review and messages, SEO meta description, SEO meta title, SMS and notification, song lyrics, story plot, uh, tagline and headline, testimony and review, video channel description, video description, video ideas. And with the magic command, or oh, sorry, or create your own use case, this is what I did. I, I basically created my recipe generator so I can uh, generate uh, cooking recipes. Okay? And. Um, as you can see, it's a lot. It is a lot. Now, I have to say right off the bat, some it does better than others. All right? So, for example, blog idea outline, it does really well. But the story, where is it? Story, song lyrics and story plot, it, it varies. Sometimes it goes, does okay. Sometimes you know, not so much. All right? But it's cool that it has these as options. Um, it's one of the few AIs that actually have the kind of creative works in here. So I, I think this is cool. Um, all right, so that's what it has. All right, right one of the, the main features that I like about Writer is it has a lot of different content types that it can produce. So that's that's one of the, the pros. Now the cons is it's a little bit harder to use than Word AI, but compared to other AIs like this, it's still easier to use. This interface is a lot easier. All right? But because um, you know, all you have to do is to change the content type is just click here and scroll down and you know you're good to go so it's not too hard to use but it's a little just a little bit tad bit uh, more complicated to use than word AI all right now if you go over to sorry word wordplay AI so if you go over here uh, you can see it's kind of bare bones when you create a content you, you got instructions and then you got three different modes and that's about it <laughs> um, you got the create new article so these are all different ways to create long-form content. I just want to clarify that. Uh, basically, in this case, you just write the article title, and then you just uh, do the subheadings right here, followed by a line. All right. So that's, you would do like, uh, I don't know, let's say you're doing dog walking, dog training, and uh, dog. Um, I don't know, but. Yeah, you, you would get the idea, and then this would be maybe like dog, dog uh, manual, a dog book. There we go. All right, so you got the title here, and then you got the, the sections here, and you would go ahead and, and proceed to, to submit the job, and it would go ahead and create, uh, use this these inputs, and fill it out and create content for you. All right, so that's, let me delete this. That's one way to do it if you want to do a customized article, but if you just want something really quick, you just go to the AI mode, and all you would have to do is just enter the, the, the title, and you're good to go. You don't even have to enter the project name or description. You click, click Submit, and within the, uh, a few moments later, you'll have an article for you. So that's as easy as can get, and I've tested many, many, many different AI tools out there. This is by far the easiest tool there, and it's great for people who just need to really just don't want to fiddle around with different and come up with different uh, – uh, headings and and subheadings all you have to do is come up with a title and enter it in and you're good to go so in regards to um, the strength of wordplay AI it's easy to use and it does long-form content very easily and very well 
Now, the downside, however, is that it's a one-trick pony. It only does long-form content. It doesn't do any ads. It doesn't do any song lyrics. None of that. It's only long-form content. All right. Um, and then lastly is the fee. So when it comes to Rider, Rider comes out to be around $30 a month. Let me just double-check that. Uh, where is the pricing? Oh, here it is comes out to be yeah for the unlimited plan it's about thirty dollars a month now they do have a nine dollars a month that you can use but I highly recommend you go to 30 and get the unlimited because it's so so useful right it's very very useful very handy and you, you can use it to write many different uh, pieces so ultimately you know let me just say who is it who is it for writers for basically someone who has to do a little bit of everything we have to do a video description product description write long form content who has to do a copywriting framework for the website write emails if you have to do any anything other than long form content or long form content plus other stuff then writers your your choice i i'd hands down recommend writer uh, it's really affordable and it has unlimited plan it doesn't have it doesn't have a credit based system that restricts you artificially like a lot of other AI um, tools do and uh, the content is quite good the output is quite good which I'll get on uh, about that later on so you can you can see what I mean by that and who's wordplay for wordplay is for basically those who just need to do who have to create long form content all the time well that's things like video scripts or uh, long blog post articles those those two things if you do those two things a lot and do it often then this is for you okay um, now let's let's talk about output all right so for wordplay ai let's see the quality i've already have uh let me see let me go into my content oops my projects i'm going to go into uh, dog training i'm going to preview this is about a thousand words right here. I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it into uh, Grammarly, so you can see you can see how well it, do, it does within the Grammarly tool. So that way you can compare kind of like apples to apples when it comes down to quality between uh, Wordplay AI and Writer. All right, I'm gonna paste this down in here, set it to default, and let it do its thing. And then after that, I'm gonna go into Writer. Oops, so I should have copied this. Let me do that again because it has the, the tags in here. I don't want that. Okay, let me do that again. All right, next, I'm going to go into Writer and create uh, how to train a new dog. The same, like, not the same, but I'm going to create an article on how to train a new dog. So I'm going to go with the outline first. How to train a new dog. I'm going to say write for me. So basically the way to create a long form content within Writer, you have to go, from scratch that is, you would have to go and create the outline first. All right. I generated one just to make it easier. And then from here you would have to go ahead and fill it out. So you would highlight the keywords plus the subheadings and create write a paragraph and just go go through all the way down and do the same thing for each one okay and there you go that's one do it for this one and I'm gonna try to aim for around the same amount of words all right like Obviously, I won't be able to get it exactly, but I'm going to try to try to get it to be around a thousand words. As you can see, this is a little bit more time consuming than Wordplay AI, but it still does a decent job. Let me do it again. And then conclusion. Okay. Conclusion. All right. Okay, I'm just going to use this right here. It's a little bit less, but we we'll have to do. So I copy this. I'm going to 
uh, I'm gonna go over this real quick. So this is Wordplay AI, and it got an overall score of 76, uh, 26 grammar alerts, a bit unclear, a bit bland, slightly off, and style guide is all good. Now as for plagiarism. Uh, it's um, you know ninety two percent unique. Okay, only eight percent of it is is from something else. Now, and it's about nine hundred and seventy five words. Okay, so let me let me go ahead and enter a new document so you can compare the two. Now this one is going to be from writer. Okay, done. This one is 84 overall. Correctness, uh, grammar alert 22. It's a bit unclear. Very engaging. Delivery is slightly off, and style is good. Most importantly, let's check for uniqueness. Okay, it is a little bit less unique. It is 90% unique versus Wordplay AI is 92% unique. But this is overall score score of 76 versus 84. All right, so let me delete these. Let me delete these. And one more. Now you don't want to have these keywords in there. It's like kind of unnatural. All right. I removed it. Let me just double check. Should be this. Should be similar. Okay, so 83. All right, so you can see the quality difference, 83 to 76. But I'm pretty sure if I dragged it out, this might go down to 80. All right, so the overall uh, unique overall readability, it's it's roughly the same, right? Because you have to factor in this is 975 words versus like six or 700, uh, 568. All right, and then. Um, the, the, but the uniqueness for Wordplay AI is more unique than that of Grammarly, right? So 90 for Writer and versus 92 for Wordplay AI. I just wanted to give you that that right here so you can kind of have an idea of the quality and put a number behind the quality between each, each um, AI writer. So I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, could you please hit the like button? I'm Vince from Digital Man Institute. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.